Okay, this is the eighth installment of showing you how to use Teams in, as a digital classroom. And if you are using either the Word or the OneNote document that goes along with these videos, then um, assignments, attachments, and rubrics are all separate tabs in the OneNote, but we're going to tackle them all together in uh, one video. So here we are in our team, and I'm going to go to the Assignments tab. And since this is a new team, I don't have any. So I'm going to click Create. Uh, we will look at Microsoft Forms in another video very soon. That's what this does. Actually, if I click on here, it's just going to open Microsoft Forms in a new tab. And it says Quiz, but uh, you can use this both to create a survey or poll in forms or a quiz in forms, but this will take you directly to quiz. I don't have anything existing to base this assignment off of, so I'm going to click on create a new assignment. You have a lot of options for assignments. Some things are required, like a title. Uh, I recommend you do not do something vague like assignment number one. Uh, just like when you name things in your grade book and parents and teachers or parents and students want to look at that later and figure out what that missing assignment is or what, what their child did well or didn't do well on, assignment one doesn't tell you very much. So try and do something more like um, introduce, oops, introduce yourself to the class. That's a little more descriptive. Uh, instructions and categories. Categories are helpful for searching later. So this would be a classwork assignment. So I just kind of label that as classwork so I can search for classwork later. Um, things can have more than one label. Instructions. If I only need a short set of instructions, I can go ahead and type that in here. If this is a more elaborate assignment, then instead of just typing instructions here, I could say see attachments, and then I can add resources. Notice I have a lot of different places I can add resources from, from my personal OneDrive. Uh, we're going to look at Class Notebook in a little while. Once you add items to your Class Notebook, they become available as things that you can add to your assignments. Uh, web links creating new files, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. And I can choose from any other team that I am a member of. I can choose um, items to attach from there or upload from my device. And remember that if I have synced other drives to my device, then they become available through this route as well. All right, so we can grab an item. Once you add an item here, uh, you have the choice to make it read only. So if it's instructions, it's going to be read only. If it's something for each student to fill out, then they can each edit their own copy. And I can add multiple resources and, and choose to make some uneditable and others editable. We can give this assignment points. And we can add a rubric. Once you add a rubric, and you can upload rubrics, you can create new rubrics. Once you create a new rubric, it saves in here. And then it becomes uh, part of a list so that the next time I click Add Rubric, I will also see previous rubrics that I've used in Teams. And if you make this worth points and you assign points to each of the columns, then when you go through to grade this, you can you know, enter your comments here. Because this is the box that I enter the comments in, uh, it understands that, I'm sorry, that's not correct. This, this is where you enter the criteria. Uh, but when I'm grading it, I can come in here and select a four. I can also uh, write comments in, in the rubric as I'm grading. But I, I can select um, four for this comp for this row. I can select a three for this row, and it will do the calculations, and it will actually take whatever grade I assign 
as I go through the rubric, uh, whatever points are assigned there, it will actually move that to the grade book. So you can actually grade directly in the rubric is what I'm trying to say in a whole lot too many words. Um, all right, so I can assign this to one or more classes. I can, if I'm only assigning it to one class, I can choose whether it's all students or if I had students in this class, I could click the drop down and select individual students. I can set a due date and a due time. And by default, uh, things are allowed to be turned in late. But if I want to actually have a hard deadline, then I can choose a closing date. So there's a due date, but I can also choose a closing date, which means nothing can be turned in after that. These don't necessarily have to be the same. So I can tell students that this is when it's due, but have a built-in grace period. And I can also create these assignments now, even if they don't need to be assigned until later. So I can create them during my planning time and then um, choose a time to actually have this go out to students later. All right, once I'm done with all of those options, I can click Assign, or I could just save it for later as well. And now when I go to Create, I do have something existing that I can choose from. And if I had multiple classes here, I could even choose to reuse an assignment from a different class, which is handy because uh, when, when I chose to assign it to one class, I could choose individual students to assign it to. If I send it to more than one class, it goes to everybody in those classes. So if I want to assign this to certain individuals in multiple classes, then I would choose the individuals to assign it to in one class, and then I can come in here and reuse it and assign it to specific individuals in another class. All right, so that is assignments and how you create them and how you add attachments and rubrics to them to distribute to your students.